what in the world is, I tested it right before we went live. I swear, I tested that <laughs> right before we went live he did. to roll the intro. And it didn't? And it, it worked. It it's been working. Who the heck knows? Nobody hopefully, wants to see us Hopefully y'all can see us and you can hear us. This is a brand new live streaming rig and I worked very hard on it today and that is not a good sign right there when it's been working just perfectly fine on the test. And then, but I did break the cable to my monitor so I can't see the stream output. So y'all give me an audio video check there for sure. Um, new setup, who this? New setup. Yes, it didn't crash this time. Our, so for those that don't know, about 50% of the, probably the last six streams we've done, when I hit go live on the, on the other rig, it just crashes and then we're minutes late. This one, worked great till I went to click something and then it didn't go to the didn't intro. You know, we normally roll that intro countdown. It didn't, it just went, <laughs> now we're live. So we're just sitting here like. Um, Will says we can see you and hear you. Great, so that's good. fantastic. So that's, hey, we're good there. We got a new Ow. super chat set up. I finally got it kind of like I want it. Not happy with the graphics, but we'll see if it works like it's supposed to. And we got a new little thing we're gonna be doing here in a second as well. Well, you did just get home yesterday, babe. I did, like I've been working on this live streaming rig for like four or five Give hours today. It, it's, it's okay. Four or five hours to get it to this point, so I'll take it. And hey, I'm hey, back. hey, and Jill's, Jill's back. back. So the stream just got 100% better. Have not played a board game called Distilling, Eric. Oh, no. No. We did buy a bunch of bottles. Or we, by we, I mean I bought a bunch of how many Even bottles well. guess how many bottles in the chat guess how many bottles i bought between kentucky and, and louisville or we went to louisville we bourbon, bourbon hunted in louisville we bourbon hunted in nashville and then i got some from a connection up there as well a friend of ours <laughs> so everybody guess how many bottles you went absolutely nothing but Guess anyway. Guess anyway. Why not? Let's see if I can and count And Damon said, it's good to see Jill's back. How was Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift <laughs> was awesome. That's all I got to say. It was awesome. As we can tell, I'm still not 100% back to a voice, but I am mostly back to a voice. So it was awesome. I missed you guys, but it was awesome. Some pretty close mm -hmm. guesses. We obviously well got a little bit of a it. delay, but... Nobody uh, has got it right yet. I don't even know this answer. Nobody has got <laughs> it right Can I guess? Yet. I mean, I can. Yes, you guess. I you really, you kind of see. Okay, I, but you haven't counted them. Uh, make sure, I'm trying to make sure I'm right here. I'm going to say 30. 30? Did I get it right? 30? No. No. Uh, the first person I saw got it right. Machiavelli. 22. Oh, 22. We bought 22 <laughs> bottles of whiskey on this trip. Actually, Does that, that, include Nashville? that may be wrong because I left a couple of bottles behind accidentally, and I'm not sure if they're bottles I took up there or if they're bottles that I bought. So we you could left be a little my off. Frey Ranch. We did leave the Frey Ranch store pick. What we, is that? We're gonna get it. I'll be back in a month. I'll pick. You're gonna hold on to it for me. I'm gonna pick it up. You bet this gets more views than what? <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. But we're gonna go through these, and then we're gonna pick four to try. So we'll pick four again, just like y'all, just like we've been doing. We're going to pick four bottles to open. Some of these I've already opened. You pick one of those for us to try, or we can, uh, we could just pick one ourselves. What is it? Eric White said he was in Louisville and ended up buying 20 bottles. The bank is broken. I know <laughs> the feeling. I know the feeling. Oh, the All bank. Right. The bank is hurting lately. The bank is killing it right now. Killing me. Yeah. Got the super chat coming through. William, William. Powell with the five dollar super chat. Hey TJ and Jill. First stream, I think I binged watch all of your vids over the past few days. Keep up the great content. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And we're watching. gonna see if the see if the super chat works. And welcome thing to the stream. See if the super chat thing works. Uh, Come on, super chat thing. It <laughs> could take it up to thirty seconds. Is the script running? I guess my mouse doesn't work. Come on, super chat thing. Aw. I'm so sorry, babe. It was working beautifully, and now it's not working. I'm just gonna wait. It's not gonna happen. It's not happening. Hey, just keep going. It's Stream is pausing. Now. Somebody says, "Is it pausing for anybody else?" Maybe that's why it didn't happen. Nah, it shouldn't be that. Uh, uh what state you're seeing? Good times, bourbon. Don't see it a bunch. Free I ranch know. at some point in my life. Hey, they're getting water distribution, so you might be able to find it not too long. 
It came up, but it pulled up my super chat, but there he it showed is. up in the leaderboard. But it didn't show his super chat. Oh. It showed mine, my test chat from earlier, oh. which is unusual. Don't know how that's going to work, but <laughs> just going to show that every time somebody super chats now. Great. Um, I did wear a big hat. Um, BN, Will didn't take his hat to the Derby. He wanted to get pickled. What? He got sunburned. So, um, yeah, no, I was supposed to get a picture of y'all in your whole get up. You, know, like, it. Not, you didn't have no hat on. Yes, I did. I don't remember. You well, you, you see, my okay. head's so big you couldn't even see well, that. Well, maybe I was just looking at Will. Yeah, like, that's what it was. That's what it was. And he didn't have a hat on. Chad said it buffered a couple of times. I was looking at my... Well, if that keeps up, y'all let me know, and I will do what I can to rectify that situation. May have to stop and restart this thing. Um, it is using Wi-Fi. Again, new streaming rig. Oh, you did Gonna have, have a hat new problems. On. I did have a hat on. Show you them. Did. I did have a hat on. He had a, a hat little on. lagging. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Yeah, you can't see that. But he had a hat on. I did have a hat. Will um, did not have a hat on. He had a cool jacket on, though. That's, well, not, that's not the shirt you left here with. That is not... I went and bought a shirt. Uh, yes. Uh, My shirt was not flamboyant enough. Not flamboyant not enough. Not flamboyant enough at all. <clears throat> Mary Jessica in the house. What's going on? Hey, Mary Jessica. All right, let's go through some of these bottles we got. Jill, you want to do that? Sure. Let's get a pour. I need a pour them. going. Not seen Jill's any not seen them. So, a lot of these are going to be new. And again, 22 bottles I picked up on this road trip. Some some redundant. Some I've already had. But I we... I did splurge a little bit on some good bottles. Okay. Some some exceptional and bottles. And by splurge, what do you mean by that? Meaning I didn't just buy cheap bottle and bonds, although I did get a bunch of those too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, we, I am not arguing with anything you bought this weekend. Okay. Because I probably did just as bad as you did this weekend. What'd you But do? not on bourbon. Taylor Swift? Yeah, I bought a bunch of Taylor Swift stuff. And then we had to have dinners and da da da. So yeah, I'm not even fussing about it. We, we won't fuss at each other about. Either I wish you'd have just weekends. fussed a little bit and not told me about <laughs> all of that. I, I won't. I won't complain if you won't. I'm not gonna promise anything at this point. <laughs> Hudson whiskey, New York, bright lights, big bourbon. Never heard of it. We're on a little bit of a New York kick with some of these bottles we're buying. Um, so bright lights, big. Bourbon. Don't know. Anybody know anything about this? John Price says the sound is a bit low on the TV. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's see. I'm texting. Check audio levels. I can bump it up just a bit, but I gotta go get my gotta go get my remote to do it. Gotta get his remote. Well, I mean, this is not working. Like my my mouse is not working and stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Talk to him, G. Hello, people. Is that better? I don't know. Do I have to get right here at the microphone? You shouldn't have to, but... No? Okay. Maybe it's just my voice is low, because it's not great. I don't know. It's probably just settings on this thing, so I bumped it up. Sorry if that's too loud for anybody. Um, Brenda Sines planning a Kentucky trip this fall. That's awesome. Let's see. If anybody... I don't know if anybody... Nope. Hudson, very low. Is that, like, is that audio better? Is this better? It's a new streaming rig. The, the levels are showing the same, but this could, you know, could be something to do with the way it's outputting it and all that. Mm. Sounds good on YouTube. But we should be only live, hopefully, hopefully, I didn't even double check it. Hopefully we're live on YouTube. <laughs> well, I mean, these people are commenting on YouTube, so. Uh, all right, this is Jay Riger's, which I passed on a Riger's when I was in Missouri. Mm -hmm. um, and, but this is a bottled in bond. So I'm like, going to have to do that? Better. Okay, great. All right, we got a Carl T. Huber's. I've seen that. In bourbon the whiskey Starlight. finished in triple sec barrels. Ooh. This is Starlight Distillery. A lot of folks love their finished stuff, so I wanted to get something finished uh, from them. In so triple sec barrels. Yeah, that's going to be. Interesting. Uh, Boulder Spirits straight bourbon whiskey bottled in bond out of Colorado. So you got all these in Kentucky, or some of them in Nashville. Yeah. Yes, These some are, in Nashville, some okay. in Kentucky. I forget which is which. Like, I don't, doesn't matter. Doesn't we got matter. them. They'll show in the video. This one is a bottled in bond from Lipers Fork. Where are these folks out of? Not sure where they're from. Can you read that? Yes, let me see. Back here somewhere, maybe. 
Another super chat from Devin Roberts with a $20 super chat. Thank you, Devin. It's going to show up in a minute. It's still going to show my test freaking super chat. Are you trying to figure out where it's? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It says Tennessee. Distilled in Tennessee. Well, there you go. Williamson County, Franklin, Tennessee. And the next one, Maker's Mark 2023 BEP. What is BEP? It's This is one of their like wood stay finishing or wood finishing. Okay, so it's just behind one. Okay. It showed his. Thank you, Devin. Did we do Devin? Yeah. Okay. Are you I'll confused? go fix that in a second. Yeah, I'm very. It's just one behind. I don't know why it's one behind. Okay. I think it's the index is one off. So. So what was BEP? That was like a wood finishing series. It says right there if you want to read the specifics. Uh, the the next one is bottled in bond from Whiskey Rope. That seems like that. Read it, Jill. Tell it to the people. I would like. Uh, an expression with prominent wood sugars, bringing forth strong notes of vanilla, caramel, and sweet spice. Mm. That sounds really good. I wish really I'd have known, Kyle. I saw a bunch of them. That sounds good. Saw good. a bunch of them. Aw. Discontinue that makers. I think I'll, the whole series of wood finishing, I think that's the last one. Really? Yeah. Huh. I think so. And that, like, I've got FAEO 102. They did a couple of years ago. This one I think this may good. be kind of the end of that line. Barrel entry proof is what BEP stands for. Oh. Okay, so this one might not be finished on anything. It's just. It says something about staves. Virgin. Didn't it? Virgin Toasted American Oak, Oak. Staves. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the next one is Old Bardstown Bonded. I didn't know if this was any different than the 101 proof Old Bardstown, so I grabbed it. I don't have the 101 proof Old Bardstown to compare it to because I didn't prepare that far ahead, but there it is. Next one, Penelope Toasted. I was told that if you were going to do a pick with Penelope... Mm. The toasted is the one you want. Didn't I see that they got bought by somebody? Or they're Penelope? Yeah. I didn't see it. If you saw it, maybe I they did. I think I saw that today. Does anybody else see that? I think they're getting bought by MGP. Is that a thing? MGP a is thing. a thing. Ross do and Squibb. Do they buy people? I mean, anybody companies? can buy anybody, I, I guess. I think, I think that's what I saw today. Interesting. I, I had not heard. i just been busy with this all day. <laughs> so, what's the proof on the makers right there, Jill? Let's see, 110.7 proof. Paul, welcome, man. Appreciate you finally catching a stream. All right, next one are these little guys right here. This is Jack Daniels Tennessee Taster Selection Hickory Smoked. Don't know what that means, but tastes like they smoked the whiskey, I guess. This one is the Jack Daniels Distillery Series. And it is straight Tennessee rye whiskey finished in high toast maple barrels. Oh, yes, see? I was right. They were bought by MGP. Interesting. Good for them. Look at me keeping up with my bourbon. Good for them. This next one is Jack Daniels Distillery Series straight Tennessee rye whiskey finished in high toast oak barrels. So maple barrels, oak, oak and barrels. Hickory. Ma maple. And that one's smoked. Mm. The next one is a teeny tiny little bitty guy Ooh. here. They acquired him for $100 million. I, we got to start a distillery, Jill. Mm -hmm, let's do it. Oh, Y'all want to help me start a distillery? <laughs> Goodness. Ow. Wow. How much bourbon do they have to have on hand <clears throat> to get 100 I mil? I don't know. This is about to show the last Super Chat now. Daniel Wheeler with the A. I don't know what A is. Two ninety nine dollars Super Chat. Thank but you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Not sure what currency that is, but thanks for the Super Chat. This is a single barrel barrel proof Jack Daniels at a oh, hundred. Australia. I thought that was. I thought it'd show AU for those. It does say AU down here where he puts that, but it didn't okay. say AU gotcha. on the thing. Cool. A uh, hundred and thirty three point three proof little Jack Daniels mini here. Next one. Oh, that's a cute bottle. That's the cutest little bottle. Uh, these oh jacks goodness. came from Nashville. We found these at a at a place in Nashville. If you want to know exactly what place. Hit me up in the Discord. I will try to look and figure out which one we bought those from. And Big J Rock, if he's in. All right, folks, we should be back up. Can y'all see us? Can you hear us? I can't see us. 
I they say they see us back back good okay hmm we don't see ourselves well we can't see ourselves because of this setup we have a little uh, setup problem there we are here. we're back I see our all right so I am um, I just cut the quality down a bit apparently I'm gonna have to work out the bugs in the new streaming setup I apologize for the problems on that. That so, is going so fast. <laughs> it, yeah, well, I think it was because we were. I don't know if we're having internet problems, oh. um, but right now I just cut it down to 720p. <laughs> it should be streaming fine. We we could be having some internet par problems though. Jill, can you hear us? Ma and Pa Bruzel. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny because Ava's been calling me Ma lately, and I'm like, oh. Okay, all Ma good now. All right, we, we were just we're done with the basic whiskey that I bought. Okay. And we were just about to get to the slightly harder to find whiskey that I bought. Mm. Okay. Okay. So this is where you actually spent some money. Now, like the thing is, is I got all of these pretty close or just above MSRP. Okay. So we didn't go like nuts on anything. Okay. Right. Um, we just bought some nice whiskey. We found some nice bottles. We bought them at close to MSRP. Okay. Okay. So... These came from a, the collection of, of a friend. So Matt, who hooked us up and, and helped us out and went on a uh, bourbon hunting adventure with us and drove us around while we were up there, had some bottles that he was willing to share. And these are Shanks 2022 release Shanks right there, which is one of the higher end releases from Michter's. Shanks. The next one is a Bomb Burgers. From 2022. So we got a 2022 Bomb Burgers. Another Michter's release. The next one. Old Forester 117. Extra old. Extra, extra old. 117 Old Forester here. Uh, and yeah, that's those. Oh no, he got one more out of it. Michter's 10 Rye. Needed one of those. Haven't drank one of those. Now I have one. So we got. You've never that. had the rye. Never had. I had a bottle once, but somebody really, really, really wanted it. Mm. So I was a good friend, and uh, now I've got a chance to try it again. All right. So one seventeen for the win. You think so? All right. So we got a few more bottles here. These. Uh, this one was the highlight of the bourbon hunting trip up in um, Louisville, and that is the Michter's Barrel Strength Bourbon. This guy right here is 135 proof. Is that what that says? No, that's not proof. That's 50 something percent. <laughs> Can't see it. What do you mean? Right there, that, that number right there. One. Wish I was in the USA. No whiskey culture here. Daniel, I'm sorry to hear that, man. You should come over. 110, that looks or, about right. Or yeah. maybe one. 110 20? looks good. 110, 120? Look, it worked. It worked. The super chat Yay! thing worked. Even though it cut off one of the letters. I'll take it. I will <laughs> take it. Got the Now it's got the leadership board going there. Look at there. Oh, man. Something finally freaking worked. All right. Now, we got these bottles that I bought off camera. So, these didn't even make it on the camera because it was just one of those times when I wasn't filming, but I stopped in a store because I was killing time. Oh. And we found these. And found these. Dalton says, uh, "When you when you, he sent a super chat, was I buffering? Uh, you not buff sure. It might no, have you been. When I sent my super chat, what did you say? What was the question, Dalton? Just post the question. You don't have super chat again. Just post the question again. I'll get you an answer on that. Uh, the next one I bought, Weller Antique 107, mm. for mm. obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. Paid a little bit too much for these, but below secondary on them currently." And because I found that one, I also bought a Weller Antique 107 because they had six of them. Oh. And I wanted more than one. Yeah. So probably should have bought all six, oh, but no. didn't want to pay that. Probably for not. OB with the 999 Super Chat, Mr. TJ, what's the mission next time you're visiting down here in Austin, Texas? We will be in Austin, Texas early July. July. Um, Mid but it's. July. Like it's a conference, so I'm I'm in and out. I might try to add one extra day to the trip um, to maybe visit. I don't know. I'd really love to go see the you know whiskey tribes place and and that kind of thing. But um, let's see. Did Dalton ask that yet? Haven't seen that question. Just want to make sure I don't miss Dalton's question. 
Um, and then the next bottle, the last bottle, the last bottle, Old Carter, Kentucky. That, that's the thumbnail. Like, y'all had to see that one coming, right? Um, we did buy a 3-KY Kentucky batch Old Carter right there hmm. because hmm. it was the cheapest I had seen it ever. So, you Dominique, you've just missed my live streaming rig messing up and, you know, buffering <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. $600 for Weller Special Reserve? Is that five supposed to be a dollar sign? Because like 99 is a respectable yet stupid price. Five ninety nine is a somebody's got a problem and you need to check on them. <laughs> like that's like... Whew. Have you ever the, hunted in Oh, the B... Virginia? Sorry, the BEP is really good. Try it in the stream. I'll enjoy a glass with you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Saw that one. We're, we'll give it a try here in just a bit. We're going to let folks I vote. I try But one. I want to try that one I get to well, pick so. one and I'm going to pick that one. There you go. So y'all get to pick three more. Y'all go ahead and vote. Let me know your three. Somebody try to calculate this as best you can. Someone asked, have you ever hunted, hunted in, in Virginia? Virginia? Not yet, but we need to. Need to. It's going to happen. North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. I definitely want to head up that way and, and try to do some stuff. What's the proof on the old Carter? The old Carter proof is 116 proof. Ooh. And this one is straight bourbon whiskey. Very small batch. It's bottle 749 of 1,116. I don't know. Like, how many? I, we need to figure out how many bottles Penelope's selling every year because that's my goal. I'm going to build a distillery there. I'm going to sell it to MVP <laughs> like for 100 bottle. million. And then I'm just going to keep making videos. Penelope yeah. Toasted, Smoked Jack, Old Carter. OC-117 mixtures. It's heavily toasted, apparently. Barrel-proof mixtures. Oof, this is crazy. Somebody going to have some counting to do. Penelope. Get that early times. I, those, those plastic tops, I'm trying to keep a hold of. Um, who is barrel-aging triple sack? That's, that's what, you know, <laughs> that is my question, too, there. I, like, I've seen several of those. They're like, oh, it's put in this barrel. I was like, who's aging that crap in a barrel? <laughs> like, they had to just put some of that stuff in a barrel for a while and then take it out for no reason whatsoever um, other than to put the whiskey in it. Don't know. Close your eyes and grab something. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I definitely am seeing a lot of the old Carter, even though I wasn't planning on opening this bottle. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the BEP. Um, I've seen a pretty good range. The barrel mixers is getting a lot... Um, William Powell with the $5 super chat. Will we be getting a bourbon hunting video from Atlanta? Yes. Um, I shot that video. It is going to take a little while to edit. Might be two or three weeks. Um, I also got an email this morning from the folks over at uh, Short Barrel and Old Fourth. Um, apparently somebody pinged them that I mentioned them in the last stream that they hadn't replied to my email. So oh. <laughs> that, that has been rectified. Thank you, whoever pinged them. That has been rectified. We're going to be doing some conversations. Just busy right now. Uh, Rebel Ted, I have a Rebel Ten year. The Jack Daniels stuff. I really want to try some of this Jack Daniels stuff too. Um, I did see a lot of votes, but I don't know which. Like they didn't specify one. Um, oh, cute squatty bottle. Or you mean that kind of? Stuff? No, I mean this kind of stuff right here. Yeah. This is the same. Is this? Oh, this is single barrel. I think rye whiskey and maple barrel sounds That's pretty just good. That's a cute little bottle though. The smoked jack, okay. Uh, so they were all going for the smoked, I think, is what. Hickory smoked. <sighs> That's going to be awful. Nah. Well, Jeeves yeah. says not hickory. Y'all uh, are killing me. All right, let's get some out of the way that obviously didn't rin. Did, didn't rin. Didn't I haven't drank anything. That's where that's where <laughs> we're at today. It didn't rin. Daniel Wheeler with the $1.99 Super Chat. All right, I know there was a vote or two for this. We're going to get these out of the way. That was what I would have picked. I would have picked that Jay Riger right there. Um, all right, so I don't I don't remember that one getting a vote, but it might have. BEP is the best pick so far, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, hand me these. People want us to drink the expensive whiskey tonight, Jill. The BEP, you said, didn't, it wasn't in the expensive. It wasn't that bad. Lineup. It was not super cheap. Good grief. Penelope was already beat. Uh -huh. Dean with the $1.99 super chat was already beat. Yeah, I know. They were buying MGP and then just labeling it and putting it out. And then MGP's like, why don't we just give you 100 mil for your Yeah, just 100 mil. That's it. 
You got good distribution. It's all it takes good distribution. <laughs> <laughs> and decent, well, I mean, good whiskey, but it's all MGP whiskey. Now, they were doing some finishing. They were doing some stuff with it, right? Like, no hate on, I'm not hating on Penelope. That's oh, no. wonderful for them, and I love their whiskey. But it's like, man, how do I do that? I don't think we can drink all of these. Oh, no, I cannot. Okay, so we're going to, you got that BEP backwards. Let's pump, let's just pump, that, it, unless somebody wanted to count that. What, this one? Nobody wanted to count that. So, some Jack single barrels getting voted in here. I see that. Oh, okay. Um, How much did you pay for this? I'm not sure. I've got receipts. You don't keep it's up with anything. It's in a anything. video. It's in a video. Oh, it's in a video. Okay. I don't know. 300,000 wow. bottles a year. That's a lot of bottles. Oh, that's a few. That's, that's a couple, that's yeah, couple, a couple, a couple cases right there, <laughs> isn't it? Lord have mercy. Bob Glass thinks his stream is better. Okay. Nice, Bob. Nice. Hope you get the views, man. Dapper fella, welcome to Three Proof Membership. Appreciate it. Um. Oh no, he's he. Okay. He's saying the quality of it's yes. better. Oh, I was like. He was storming. It was, was storming. Like, I, there. I need to watch Bob's stream. That's what <laughs> I was, was thinking. It was storming there. It's like I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna check somebody bookmark <laughs> Bob's stream. It's probably better than this one. Can't be worse than this one. Uh, we need glasses, Jill. We need glasses. Okay. Um, right. We still got to kick some. Out. The ones over there are clean. Yes. That's a lot of distribution they just bought. And a label that people know, oh, right? Yeah. A lot of brand loyalty in whiskey. So if you get people drinking your label, Dude, that's means funny. something. King Polar with the nine ninety nine super chat. I stopped drinking for a year because my ex wife said I was an alcoholic. Turns out I was just unhappy. What are some go tos to start rebuilding a collection? Well, um, that's a sad story, and congratulations for you um, to to get things turned around. Um, I, you know, what I would do is it just depends on what you're into. Like, what kind of whiskey are you drinking? Uh, try a bunch of different stuff, find out what you like, and then go hard into that, right? Oh, you know, I ain't trying all these. You trying all these? Uh, probably not. We gotta still got to punt some, Jill. Yeah. We still got to punt some. This is, this, that's an excessive okay. mount. You think so? Yeah. Some I of these know. are high proof. So this one I really want to try. Okay. So we're just going to do And I this. really want to try this one. And so those are in. Those are just in. Like, we shouldn't even ask people to vote and then not even listen to them, Jill. Where we are. They said this okay. one. This is actually a really good bottle. <laughs> they, everybody said this one. That one's actually a really good bottle. And you like Jack Daniels I stuff, do like it. right? And uh, everybody wanted this one. So let's take these two out. These. I really want those, too. I may have to do another stream this week. <laughs> Just like so drink these other bottles. We yeah, may, we'll try the smoky stuff. We're going to try the smoky stuff too. This yeah. hickory smoke, that's going to be awful. It's all right. It's going to be awful. What's my favorite rebel? Um, it probably would be the 10 year, I think. A little more age on that one. All right. So pop that BEP over there for us, Jill. Chad says, I heard oh, the wow. Joseph cigar blend is very good. Holding one at $199. Yeah, I think $199 is a little bit of a markup, but they are good. This is sticky paper. Take out three and put the Hudson in. You think the Hudson's that good? Ooh. You think the Hudson's that good? One mo. Seriously. You think it's that good? Let me know. What's going on, Spencer? Bottle Shop Wilderness Trail Weeded Store Pick is very nice. I don't think I've, I didn't pick that one up. I want to say they had it last time I was there, though. Damon opened a bottle of Blanton's for the stream. Daniel Wheeler, that was me in engineering, Ooh. just started back up. I gotcha. One more doesn't know. Okay, you were just guessing. All right, all right, I understand. I was like, hey, if it's that good, I'll try it. Is that too much? That's a lot. Let's pour it back in the glass there. It's fine. It's aerating it. Just like, don't drink too much. Here, here's here's a, <laughs> two cups. Uh, two full, here's 16 <laughs> fluid ounces of whiskey for you. <laughs> OESV in Fairburn, Georgia. It's a little bit of a stretch for me. Mm -hmm. That smells good. The Dalmore makes an awesome one. I think we've got the Dalmore cigar blend, don't we? We have a, something Dalmore. I think it's, yeah, we got several Dalmores. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Is that good? It smells good. It's different. Oh, here's a problem. I think it's a little bit warm because it was in the car today. Mm -hmm. uh, I did find some small distillery whiskey. We bought a... 
a Rigers, a Whiskey Row. I don't know who those are made by. Um, we bought the Starlights, Carl T. Huber's here. We bought a, this one was on clearance. <laughs> this Boulder Spirits was on clearance for $20. They have clearance? Bourbon? This one place had clearance for this $20 bottle. I was like, yep, gonna take that. Okay. Uh, and then we bought a Leaper's Fork, Leiper's Fork, hmm. um, bottled in bond. But the chat wanted us to try this more mainstream stuff. The lights are flashing anytime there's a super chat, always oh. fish. So anytime there's a super chat, the lights flash. Uh, now, sometimes it shows that the, the timing is all off on that and it's showing on the screen. We're trying to, I'm trying to work it out to where that shows up on the screen and it flashes at the same time, but just getting it to show on the screen is harder than it looks. I guess I smell the vanilla and the caramel. I wasn't That's getting good. it on the taste. It's got a nice oakiness to it. A little bit of kind of bitterness on the oak on the back of the palate. Yeah. But overall, really, I get a lot of those flavors. Louis, the oh. X1111. I guess that's what that is. I couldn't tell. How many eyes come after that X there? Louis the 14th, I guess. You inspired me, so I started a channel, Bonded by Spirits. I keep telling my wife it's all your fault. Jill, <laughs> it's your fault. You're awesome. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, it's he's going to be thanking us now, but his wife is going to be hating us for a while because it's no. a lot of work. Congratulations! We congratulations! Got to check that out. I'll have to look out. Yeah, bonded by spirit. bonded by spirit. You subscribing right now? Yes, Casey. You're flashing me. You're a flasher. You perv. Boop. Michael with the thirty dollar Australian. Super, Super chat. chat. From Melbourne, Whoa. Australia. Love the videos and especially the bourbon hunting trips. I'm just starting on my bourbon whiskey collection. Thanks for the awesome suggestions. Keep up the great work. Appreciate it. We do need to go to Australia and go bourbon hunting. Oh, we're yeah. Gonna to, we're going to have to do this at some point. I've wanted to go to Australia since I was a child, so yeah. Yeah. But we got so many places to go. Oh, my gosh. We actually got a segment. I think there's a question about it in the segment we're going to do here in a little bit. We got an AMA going over on Discord. So here in just a little bit, after I get through a few of these samples, we're gonna go through the questions that we were asked in Discord and get answers on those. Uh, Brian, JD Coy Hill's fantastic. This is not a Coy Hill. This is just a single barrel barrel strength. I have a still Austin uh, cash strength, Jake, so it, and it's fantastic. Daniel says, yes, please come to Australia. We're staying on his couch. <laughs> 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 we're still on the uh, BEP and I'll be honest I like it I don't love it yeah I think I like the FAE 01 and 02 better um, it's just a this has great flavors it has a lot of those kind of caramel fruity flavors that I'm looking yeah, for but it's a little but bit but the oakiness just the, it's got a little bit of a weird dry oak in the middle of the palate that's not my thing yeah I was really looking forward to it too because it it sold you Sold me the it sweet, sweet. It didn't really give me that. Let's jump into a rye here real quick. I mean, it's good. Lord have mercy. What the? This, I'm terrible at opening things, Jim. You need me it's to help. It's got a little pull tab I here. I know. That's what this one had. <laughs> and it's a thick wax. This one had a sticky film on it, too, like a sticky piece of. Let's get that cork pop in here. Oh, the wax was that was miserable. Hmm. The wax was still kind of stuck in the back, and I made a miserable cork pop. My bad. My bad. Terrible at opening things. Appreciate it, Court. All right, so Mictor's 10 year old rye whiskey right here. I hmm. like Mictor's rye. Now, what rye did they use in our old fashioned at Disney? Remember, they were going to, they used Bullet. Rye. Bullet. Yeah, yeah. So Michter's, the normal rye is very bourbon friendly rye. Like it's very like caramel, kind of almost butterscotch with just a little hint of rye. What is it? Dalton said that, I'm assuming he means the BEP. The first pour was bitter, but after it sat for a while, it goes away. Well, I've got one open right here. We'll let it sit for a while and we'll, yeah, uh, we'll try it again. Team. Try it again. Dabber with the $2 Super Chat ever had Kentucky Out confiscated. I do have one here somewhere. Um, I liked it. I thought it was a good whiskey. Not a $150 whiskey, though. 
so good, 60, 70 bucks, I'd buy a bunch of them. But at 150, oh, that smells so, honestly, it smells so good. What do you think? You've been mighty quiet, Chill. I know. I was waiting on you. What do you I think? I like this. Yeah. I like For this. For a rye, this that's a good rye. really good. I feel like this has a little more rye flavor than the normal Michter's rye to me. Like, it, it feels like the, the ryeness comes through a little more. But at 10 years old, it's got just the right amount of oakiness. Nice sweetness up front. And then it hits you with that ryeness. It almost tastes like a finished rye. It's so sweet. Like the flavors on that almost taste like that rye has been finished in something that adds a little sweetness to it. But I got to have a second pour of that. Brandon with the $5 Super Chat. What an amazing channel. I look forward to the videos each week. You won't be disappointed in the bottle of... Lipper, lipper, li lipers, li lipers. Leaper, leapers. I think somebody said leapers. Leapers, leapers fork. We're not pronunciation experts. We can't even <laughs> pronounce pronunciation. No, we're not. I have not had Stranahan single barrel cash strength. Do you get any like green apple? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. Green yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah, yeah. No, that that rye and that it's so sweet. Yeah. And then with just that bite of rye. Yeah, that's a great way of explaining it. That's a good bottle. Yeah, I like My this. goodness, that's a good bottle. I'm glad I I shouldn't have got rid of the first one I had of that. Woo. How many actual years that M10 rye is? Um, I don't think it says, right? It's a minimum of 10. But I don't know if it necessarily says exactly exactly 10. Colonoscopy. $5 super chat. What'd you miss? You missed some problematic streaming, man. A little <laughs> bit of, little bit of uh, buffering and... Super chats are now coming up. And the leaderboard, watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom! It looks like it's working. It looks <laughs> like it appears to be. I, I'm proud of Y'all don't know how freaking hard that was to actually make where it comes up when there's a super chat. Now I can just get it timing with the lights. We'll be good to go. Chris with the $2 super chat. I know. I called him. I was like, are you cooking the steaks tonight? He's like, no, I'm working on the stream. <laughs> I, I worked on that for two hours just trying to get that to show up. Um, I have not tried Boone County bourbon there, Chris. Um, appreciate the support. Appreciate the super chat. But I haven't tried it. Um, I need to. Boone County. Where's uh, that? Is Boone it County what? Kentucky, I Kentucky? think. Kentucky? Okay. Um, but let me know if it's any good. It, may have been, it might be Tennessee. But one of those. Here to learn with the $10 Super Chat, have you had the Sagamore Spirit Ride Double Oaked? Mm. Yes. Oh, I actually tried it in Kentucky for the first time. Matt had one, uh, had a little pour of that, actually really good. Little too oaky, but it's, a lot of those double oaks, you kind of want to be oaky, right? So it's kind of, you know, it really, really adds a ton of oak, but I thought it balanced really well with the I'm ride. I guess I'm just not a ton of oak fan, you know? Like everyone I have Me that, I just, I'm not... Not that they're bad. Yeah. It's just not what I would pick. Well, I'm expecting this BEP to get get better as it sits over here. We're going to try it. Kentucky meetup. Maybe oh. we might do that sometime. We, we probably need to do these small meetups, or regionally meet up, regional meetups around the country. But who ooh, who's going to plan them? That's the problem. Who is going to plan them? Exchange three for Hudson. Somebody really wants me to try that Hudson. Let's just do it. Let's, I, I'm good. I'm good on these. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try the Hudson. Where'd it go? Because that's the one I wanted to try. Is that the one you wanted? That's one of the ones I wanted. I wanted to try all the small ones, and they voted for all the ones they actually have heard of. Probably what I'd have voted for too. Wheel, 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 wheel. I don't know if I trust Will to organize things. <laughs> Big J Rock, the leap Lippers. of faith. Hudson. Ooh, okay. <laughs> mm, it's a little dusty. It's like kind of a dusty tea note. The aging is off on it. It tastes like it's rapidly aged. Or maybe that's, I don't know, it could be youth along with rapid aging. Now, the, 
it tastes like it was rapid aged to me. Tastes like it was small barrels or staves or chips or something, mm. but it's subtle. Like it's subtle, but the proof is real low too. So my guess is this is just not a real old whiskey and aged a minimum of three years. Mm. Um, but I'm wondering if it was a smaller barrel. Like maybe it wasn't a full 53 gallon barrel. Because in New York, like, it shouldn't get super hot. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. super hot, like Kentucky will do that. Um, yeah, that's not my jam. Not my jam, so. Not your jam. Mm, don't have a place to sit it, but. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not my jam. Mm -hmm. What was that? Oh, this is the Mictor's Rye. Mm. That smells. Let's get back on that train. Let's get back on that train. Haven't had the Twin Oak Custom Barrel there, Travis. What does that smell like? Is smell your proxy like. that took Weller Res over 107 still alive? Yes, I think so, Bob. Alive and doing well and, <laughs> you know, apologetic. But that's uh, that's life. It's, he's not the first person to get the wrong bottle. And I've tried. I, like, I, if y'all saw the video, I asked him like 150 times. We even tested going through it. And he said the right one every time. And then when it came well, to look, it, he panicked. It's stressful when you're standing there and you're not in there with you. Some people don't pick up the right thing. Some people pick up chairs. Some people pick up a wrong bottle. Okay? We need you there beside us to make sure we're doing what we're supposed if to be If you'd have got a chair, I'd have been okay with it. <laughs> oh. Nick, I have not had the JD-12. I need one. I need one. JP Weiser's 22-year cash strength crypto's open. Just got back from an eight-hour round trip to get Aww, the first puppy. puppy. Purebred English Bulldog. Ooh. Nice. Sounds Cute. beautiful. Sounds fun. Uh, let's go ahead and try this, what's probably going to be god-awful hickory smoked Jack Daniels Tennessee Tasters. Can we just try it together? I, baby, I, it, yes. You one, can, one if glass. you want, you can just put it in your hand and I'll lick it out. That's gross. You're so weird. Well, I mean, you just like, can we try it together? I don't know. what Germs, we might not want to share those. You know, like, of course we could try it together. Hero Collect. Coy yeah. Hill is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the, well, the Jack yeah. Daniels Hero Collection I've got is not, like, technically they come from Coy Hill. It's not the same as a Coy Hill release. Jerry with the four ninety nine Super Chat. What are some great weeded bourbons other than Maker's Mark and Weller that is mostly available? Uh, Larceny is is a really good one. Um, the Rebel stuff is, is weeded. Some of those, you know, are better than others. I like the older stuff. Um... Those are the predominant ones. That Larceny Barrel Proof stuff is fantastic. Um, of course, Old Fitz, the canter bottles, but those are not easy to get. I'm trying to look around and see what else I've got here that's weeded besides those. I mean, Old Elk makes a weeder. I don't know much about it. Um, those are the ones I've got. Hmm. Alan with the 499 Super Chat. Looking forward to your thoughts on the 3KY Old Carter. I have three GAs. Oof. I, I don't know which one. I don't know if Russell's in the chat here on this, but he got a Georgia Old Carter that was blew my New York, New Jersey out of the water. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping this Kentucky does the same. Bourbon via fan mail would love to send Maine bourbon. Dang, if you want to send some Maine bourbon, man, should have a P.O. box um, in the uh, in the bio, or you can uh, jet over to Discord, hit me up, and and I'll get you the uh, the information. What's my dream chaos with the two dollar super chat? What's your dream destination to bourbon hunt? Mine. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Right that's, now. Where's that? Where's ooh? Ooh. Uh, Scotland. Scotland's got to be high on the list. Ireland, I think Australia would be fun. Australia would be fun. Um, yeah, but Europe would be a lot of fun yeah. for sure. Zach with the $2 Super Chat, ever hear of or try Davies County? Is that one we bought? Have you tried this yet? I've not tried that yet, Jill. I've been talking. I've been running my trap. I thought I bought a Davies County, but I don't see it, so I'm assuming I didn't. But we bought a bunch of them on the last stream that we didn't open. I, I don't even know. I've, I've heard of it, yes. I have not. Um, apparently don't own one, or I don't know. The lights are tripping you out, Chris. Chrissy, not, not a fan of the lights. They, they go a little nuts when the Super Chats come in. Do y'all like that or do y'all not like that? Like, y'all let me know. That's a thing we had to go add, right? So when a Super Chat comes in, the lights lose their mind. But, uh, 47, we are live on Mondays. I like the lights. 
You like the lights? Yes, you, you I like the you, lights. I wanted, I wanted to coordinate with what's on the screen now. I like the lights. Right? So, like, right now, it's about, the Thrasher just threw one in, so it's going to do yeah, this. Yeah, I love that. And then in, like, a minute, the thing's going to come up. So, I just wanted to coordinate. So, we're going to yeah. figure that out. Thrasher, what's going on? Uh, hey, man, I don't get to catch a lot of your lives since you go on opposite of the shelf turds, oh. but I catch your vids all the time. Love them. Keep it up. Met you at Pours in the Park for a hot second. <laughs> Yeah, I should be up there this year. I am planning on going at this point, but I appreciate the support, man. And are the the shelf turds not on today? Green River, Green River. I did get a Green River weeded. I thought I did get a Green River weeded last week, but we didn't open it. Um, so I have to check that out. Educate with Sean, two dollar super chat. Are you planning on some whiskey travel content? Yes, absolutely. The bourbon hunting videos are getting bigger and bigger, and so we're going to keep taking them further and further. We went to the Kentucky Derby this past week. We went to uh, Talladega the weekend before that. Um, so we've got those videos coming out. The Atlanta Braves reached out. We're going to try to do some stuff with them. He's a and we're just going to keep, keep finding the coolest parties and, and go to them. Tom with the $5 Super Chat, I appreciate your channel and the work you're doing. Coming from a fellow web dev world guy and whiskey fan. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank you. How is Maggie? How is Maggie? Maggie How's has Maggie? her door panels and stuff off right now, getting some audio put in her. Um, hopefully, she'll be done soon, and we'll have her I back. I miss Maggie. She's not in her spot. What would you think of this, Jim? You tell me. I don't know. I'm going to tell you. Uh, it's weird, but I like it. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Like, it's it, not bad. It almost makes me... I feel like I just got away from a fire pit. Like, you know, you had a big fire pit and you roasted some marshmallows with a s'mores and you just combined, like, you, you burnt that marshmallow really badly. So you got that charty, smoky smell. I don't know. It's just odd. But I, I get. That was like, a real complicated explanation. It was. Jim. It was. I know. You, but, you could have just said it tastes like a burnt marshmallow. Yeah, but that wouldn't have been as fun. <laughs> so I'm just basically telling you, it's like you come in from the outside after you've been around a fire, and you've got that smoke smell on your clothes. Yeah. But you've also had a s'mores, and somehow if you combine those two things, I wouldn't want a second pour. Like it's it's surprisingly not terrible. Yeah. But I would not want to drink another one. Right? It, it does have kind of an artificially smoky flavor to yeah. it. Um, and it's interesting, but it's not pleasant to me. Zachary with the four ninety nine Super Chat. How did you enjoy the Derby? Also thoughts on Yellowstone bourbon. Got a black label, hand-picked collection. The Yellowstone I have is pretty good. I've got their limited edition. Um, that one's really good. The normal one I got... Pretty good, but we just had one pour out of it on the stream. I haven't got back to it yet. So I definitely need to try a little more of that. But I think those Yellowstones are pretty solid stuff. Um, the Jacks. Well, this Jack we're about to try, and then the old Carter we're going to try. This one is the one we just did, which is the Hickory Smoked, and that is just... It's kind of like a flavored... It's a flavored whiskey. That's kind of what it is, right? It's just, it's just smoke flavor. And so if you like smoke flavor... You probably like this one, but it's um, not, yeah, it's not something I would drink two of, for sure. <laughs> um, Let's see. We got more glasses, Jill. We got Wait two then. more whiskeys to try here, and then we're going to go to the Ask Me Anything portion go. of this while I drink some whiskey. Um, Chris, when is the Kentucky Bourbon Festival? Not, not sure. Can't, sounds like campfire. Yeah. yeah. It could be. I think they're talking about the High West Campfire, which I haven't tried. Oh. Okay. Um, there you go, boo. You, this this is what I got right here. All right, let's do. We just we'll save the Carter. Yeah, we'll save the Carter for last. Ah, uh, drop a liquid smoke in your jacket, save you some money. Yes, probably about right. Now, if you wanted a smoky flavor in your old fashioned, that'd probably do it. Yeah. But I don't. That bottle cost a lot more than Jack Daniels, so I don't know if it's it's worth it. Oh, really? Does it? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I have a Jack Daniels 10 uh, Master Chef from last year. I haven't tried this year's, and I haven't seen the 12 yet. You know, I think this might make a good old-fashioned. Okay. You, it may be interesting one at least, right? You, you want to try it? 
Not well, no. Not what do you do with the bottles you don't like, Carlos? I save them and I feed them to guests. <laughs> Unwelcome guests. The Green River wheat it is solid. Oof, man, that is. What's which one is this? That is the Jack Daniel single barrel barrel strength, one hundred and thirty three proof. Mm. Colonoscopy with the five dollar super chat just got wild turkey rare breed. What are your thoughts? Fantastic bottle for like fifty ish dollars here. Um, beautiful, beautiful wild turkey. Probably the best thing wild turkey does on a regular basis, like a regular release from them. Uh, like I just don't think it great high proof. Some of that great um, kind of sweet fruitiness that you get from wild turkey with a nice balance of age on it. So good, good bottle. You'll enjoy that. Black walnut bitters and some Jack Daniels smoked maple. I pay Uncle Nate with them. What do you think, Jill? I like that. Oh, that's a good bottle. That's a yeah, good bottle. that's a good bottle. These little yeah. guys, and I've seen the ones I've seen, the little guys are a lot higher proof than the big guys. The big bottles like mm -hmm. this, which we've got a big bottle over there. You want to see what that, well, that's the Hero Select, so that one might be different. Um, and then what's, there's one behind it that's not a Hero Select. I don't know, but that's good. September 15th through 17th. Oof. That's a maybe. Barrel, barrel proof? Yeah, what is the proof? 131. Okay, so that's 131. Then what's the Hero Select? Is that this one? Yeah. Uh, 129. 129. So a little higher on that one. Appreciate it there, Perez. We'll keep them going. We're working on quite a few. I filmed two on the way up there and back. I will see if the Nashville one makes it to air. I was, I was exhausted. I tried to bring the energy up. I'm not sure I did it. Got two big so bottles high. in Birmingham that are hunting 33. They're, well, maybe I was just, maybe just the ones I've seen, right? But when I was around hunting, um, I saw a bunch of these at 133, and all of the big bottles I saw were in the 120s. That's good. So, um, I, so maybe far, it's just coincidence. My favorite tonight. That's that's really good. You like that better than the Mictor's 10 year rye? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I do. Now, what if that beats Old Carter? In the chat. What happens if the Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Single Barrel, which is a delicious, delicious, delicious bottle, like that is a, if you didn't know that was Jack Daniels, That's which good. obviously it has a Jack Daniels flavor to it, but it is an elevated Jack Daniels flavor, and it beat Old Carter, what, what would y'all say about that? Yeah, pump those likes for me if you would. Let's make sure we got some folks in here. I can't see my stats because one of my monitors are down, so... I don't know if we've brought anybody, held anybody. We may have lost everybody when we started buffering. <laughs> Who knows? That happens. Well, for those we do have, thank you. Hey, for only the OGs, the hardcores are still here. I appreciate it. Gabba Trey with the $12 Super Chat. Opinions on John J. Bowman's Single Barrel. I like all of the Bowman stuff that I've had, um, but I don't like it as much as the Buffalo Trace counterparts, right? They take it. And they redistill it in, a, you know, some sort of copper still there in Virginia, and it's good. It's just a little off from the Buffalo Trace stuff for me, uh, but I, I still like it. All right, this was the bottle I wasn't gonna open. This was gonna be my backup old Carter, and now it's well, not backing anything up. Do you already have up. one open? It's not this batch though. So uh, yeah. give the people what they want, Jill. Give the people what they want. That's why this whiskey made to be drank, not to be late. It's going to look just as good empty. I promise you. Almost to 700 viewers. Wow. That's crazy, especially with all the issues. I had to cut the quality down and everything. Man, keep it going. Y'all keep share it out if you know somebody might want to hang out with us. Um, it smells good. It, it's, it's old Carter. Like old Carter makes some good stuff. Where are they from? Kentucky? Yes. And they blend. So they're buying it and blending it. We really have out. to plan a trip to go to the distillery. Yes, very much so. I mean, I don't know when. Well, I'm going in June. Not to all the distilleries. Several of them. Oh. Yes, several of them. I've got vi invited along oh, for yeah, several that's the picks, one I can't go on. including so. a Four Roses pick and a Willet Purple Top pick. Now they're not my barrels, but I'm going to try my hardest to buy the second barrel. Out of every one of those picks, I don't know if they're going to let me, but I will take them if they do. <laughs> the Monday Night Live session's becoming a tradition, Richard says. 
finally found Eagle Rare. Congratulations. Good bottle. I did find like a case of them in Georgia for 50 bucks when I was in Atlanta, though. What do you think? Okay, that's good. Is it better than the Jack Daniel Single Barrel? Oh. Just, just give me a minute. Seth coming in from Minnesota. They're very similar for me. But that's just first thoughts. Whoa. Now, Matt up in Kentucky, who I've spent a lot of time with, had this bottle open on his bar. And I did not get all of those flavors I just got from it right there. Mm, it's got lots of flavors. Like that is, that has got some weird stuff. Like a lot of plums, mm. kind of dates. Deep, it's like a dark. Yeah, really kind of dark fruit. Yeah. Um, I didn't, now maybe I had tried some high proof stuff beforehand, but I'm pretty sure he's got this same batch open. And it's just very different than what I'm picking up here today. Proof on the old Carter, 116 proof. And it drinks like water for 116 proof. Yeah, the MSRP on these are 175-ish. Um, I have not seen one for less than $300 except for this bottle, so I bought it. And, and you know, I, don't tell Jill though, okay? Nobody tell Jill. Jill, close your ears, plug your ears. I paid $250 for that bottle. What? You weren't supposed to tell yourself. <laughs> That's so good. Well, eight hundred and fifty-six. Everybody, don't Man, tell TJ. We, we got your ears. Close your ears. <laughs> I spent double that on Taylor merch. You serious? No. Not quite, quite double. The, but it was two better, different concerts. She better have autographed it all. That's like two shirts at a Taylor Swift concert. Exactly, though. they were yeah. very, very expensive. So. Uh, we didn't love. We liked the makers. We didn't love the makers. I didn't like love it, the, it, the flavors are good. It's got we're a little. Though. We're letting. Yeah, it we're letting sit. it sit. We're letting it sit and see if some of that bitterness yeah. kind of evaporates from it. So. How much? Um, the stars of the day are right there. Yeah. Oh, well, this one too. That one too. Yeah, well, these well, three. These we'll three are the him. stars of the day for I sure. Because I just smelled this one again, and it's just. Oh. You got more of that Mictor's ten? You're not drinking it. Yeah, I got some more, but okay. I was letting it sit too. The Indy 500, like, I need some, like, insider passes to the Indy 500. That would be fun. We do need to do an Indy race. Uh, we did a NASCAR race. We need to do an Indy race. Like, I'm open. We, we're we taking suggestions in Discord. Let me know what parties we should go to. Um, we should go to another Taylor Swift concert. If anybody has passes, tickets to Taylor Swift passes, and you don't want them, you are more than welcome to send it to Mom the with the, the problem with the concert is, is it's just all going to get demonetized because she owns, like, I can't show any of the actual in the concert. Yeah, Right? True. doesn't work. Don't tread on me. He's got me. He got me. Got me some inside passes here. Let's uh, <laughs> hit me up. Old Carter's worth $75 at the most. Eh. I would say that's a better bottle of whiskey than $75. Is it worth two hundred and fifty dollars? Probably not. Probably not. But it is an exceptional bottle for sure. This JD bottle is one of their um, Tennessee tasters, so it's like experiments they do. This one is Hickory Smoked. This Jack Daniel bottle is just a small three hundred seventy-five milliliter uh, single barrel barrel strength. Store. I don't think it's a store pick. I think it's just single barrel barrel strength. What you laughing at? Someone said a good way to find a girl is to go to a Taylor Swift concert. Dude, there, there are... There were a lot of girls there. Yeah. I'll say that. Or the Kentucky Derby or the infield at Talladega. Now, if you're looking for girls that you're going to date for a long time, <laughs> none of those places probably <laughs> going to be. I don't know. Because all the ones at the Taylor crazy. Swift going to be crazy, and all the ones at the th two things I mentioned are even crazier. <laughs> Cruising the... Coast in Biloxi, Mississippi. Oh, you've I want to do that. that I, before, I, I've been even wanting to do like it. Way before. Yeah, I've been wanting to do it. Just time. Just it always comes at a bad time for work. Like it's just you know this this time of year is usually a really really busy season for us, and uh, it just just makes it difficult. More Australia. We got a lot of viewers from Australia joining these live streams, which is awesome. That is awesome. What's up, Jeff Osborne? Daniel Wheeler with the two ninety nine super chat. Watching this in uni, way more informative than ECO, ECO, economics maybe. <laughs> uni, we you know what we call college, uni. Uni. I, I think I've got that. Is that what college is now? Uni. It's university. University. Uni. Yeah, I uni. got university. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, what high proof whiskey? I'm pretty good with the high proof whiskey. So, like all of these, this right here, 133 proof, doesn't require a warm up necessarily. Have um, you tried J Raggers from Kansas City yet? Don't we have that one? That's the bottle and bond I got that I wanted uh, to try, and everybody's like, no, let's do all these the other ones. Right here. J. Riger Bottle End Bond. That's from Kansas City? Yes. Mm. Taylor's going to Kansas City. Taylor Swift? Yeah, she's going to Kansas City. Well, she didn't tell me last time we talked. She didn't? Nah, she yeah. called me like the day before yesterday. Girl. She didn't mention it. Tater F and Tots with the $10 <laughs> super chat for the crazy ones, for the crazy ladies. Hmm. They're using some sort of indestructible plastic top for this. <laughs> um, would you, hey, grab that, that see that um, wine opener way over there? Or a knife or something? This is. Hey, Riggers, what are you, if, you, if your whiskey's as good as your plastic, they did this not is going to be you to get in there. I think this is a gag gift. They did not want you to get in there. It's even perforated on this side. I still can't tear it. That's where we're at in life, okay? <laughs> that is where we're at. World's worst bottle opener. You're right. I, world's and worst bartender. bartender in general. I Dude, think... I, it's so funny when people watch the videos, and then they're like, oh, God, I hope you're never behind a bar. I was like, have you not looked at the channel art? <laughs> I guess you haven't. I guess you haven't. Oh, that was a good cork. It's decent. Decent cork. Is this a fresh one? Yes. Okay. So, bottled in bond, which means it's a minimum of four years old. It's 100 proof. All the grains were grown in one growing season, and this place kind of put it all together and aged it and everything in a federally bonded warehouse. Now, I tend to buy bottled in bond whiskeys. Why do I buy bottled in bond whiskeys? I'm looking for small distilleries that are making exceptional whiskey, right? If you're doing a really cool thing with the blend, that's great too. But for the most part, I want something that you've made that I've you know, not, not been able to find. And bottled in bond, you get some of these that taste like rapid aging. You know, they use small barrels, oak chips, whatever. And uh, I don't like those things. Bottle in bond means they cut no corners. That's what it means. This is good whiskey. Now, it may not taste good, but this is quality whiskey that they've put out. So it just gives me a little bit of a guarantee of what's in this bottle. Doesn't mean I like it, whatever, but... It just means that corners were not cut on this. So I tend to grab bottled in bonds from small distilleries when they're available. Because I passed on the Rigers. I had I had Rigers in my hand in the in one of the videos um, on that, that trip, last trip we took. And I had the um, Ben Halliday, and the Ben Halliday was a bottled in bond. So I bought that instead of the non-bottled in bond Rigers. And that smells fantastic which one's this j rager yeah j rager co Ooh, it does smell good extra fine bottled in bond straight bourbon whiskey man that smells good it's got a nice nice aroma to it it has a great odor it's odoriferous <laughs> emanations it's a, are exceptional odor. double oaked by high bank distillery i'd love to, i'd love to try that like I'm a little iffy on double oaked, but some are great. Like Woodford double oaked, fantastic. What's up, Charles Whitfield? What do you think? Doesn't taste as good as it smells? Not to me. It's a little stark. It's a little... It's not as good as it smells. Yeah. It smells it's really good. good. Like, it's fine. It's a good... That's. Uh, there's nothing off-putting about that whiskey. No. But it, I also want to try it when we haven't been blazing our taste buds with 130, 120 proof whiskey mm. because it does feel a little simple. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that may just be because we started with the high proof stuff. What proof is And this? now it's 100. Oh, Bottled okay, and Bond's okay, 100. Okay, okay, okay. So what, I, what I'm getting, I really like. Yeah. But I'm not getting a lot of robustness of the flavors. But again, I don't think that's this bottle. I think that's our taste buds just being desensitized from the high proof whiskey. So you don't start with the high proof stuff and then judge the low proof stuff. Gotcha. Best double oaked is 13th Colony. I had a sample. I wish they'd have gave me a whole bottle. I'm looking forward to the new batch coming out for uh -huh. sure. We're talking to them about doing a barrel pick. We'll see. We'll see. 
Thoughts on Riger's Bottle and Bond versus the Ben Holiday? We'll do that. I'm going to do that blind um, one day. Maybe the next stream. Maybe next Monday we'll pick four small distillery bottled and bonds and we'll rank them. That'd be a fun stream. Ooh, I won't be here. You've got more viewers than the view? Where are we at? Where, I can't even... My monitor went out. I, I broke my cable to that monitor, so I can't even see the stats right now. I'm a little little down on my uh, on my capabilities here. Yes, have I have had the Widow Jane 10 years. Good whiskey. They use a lot of George Dickel in their blend, but they do a good job of kind of blending it in there to where it's not too off-putting. Oldest bourbon I've tried is probably 18 years old. Um, like an Elijah Craig 18, something like that. Well, I've had a Pappy 23. We've got a Pappy 23 sample over there. I believe it was It's Bourbon Night sent us mm -hmm. that because we did a Thank you. we did a video kind of poking fun of their review of uh, of Pappy Twenty Three, so they graciously offered us a sample, and it just came in the mail. Um, went to Jay Riders from a twenty first first place. I had a legal drink. Like I said, I think that's going to be good. I just think my I'm going to need a little more subtlety and nuance to my taste buds because it's already getting better the more I drink it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put that in a blind. I think that's gonna be good. So I was hoping it'd be good tonight. I, that why we should have tried it earlier. Sure. I have I have heard of Old Overholt. I don't think I've bought a bottle of that yet. My barrel bottle is getting low. When's your next pick? Uh, a week from Thursday. We just solidified it today. Um, I've got to get an idea of who's going. I might try to invite some patrons. We'll see. I, it's the some folks from the Mississippi Sippers. Josh from Spillway is gonna be there. I'm going to Crittenton's, and we are going to pick a barrel down there. And he said he could have it available in about four weeks awesome. once I pick it. So that one's coming. We've picked a couple from Clyde Mays, but that'll be fall before those are available. So I'm trying to find small distilleries that Mike can turn them around fairly quick so we can start getting some in the hopper. Um, but it'll, you know, there'll be one out in a, in a month or so. And then, you know, we're going to try to have one every couple of months until later in the year when we're rolling out one or two every month. Daniel Wheeler with the two ninety nine super chat. Youngest drinker, ooh, only nineteen. Legal in Australia though. It's legal in Australia. Hey, if it's legal, man, hang out. Appreciate it. <laughs> Southern Distilling Company out of North Carolina, weeded bottled in bond. That sounds familiar. I don't think I bought it though. It could, it might be one that I bought. John with the five proof membership. Appreciate it. Y'all keep pumping those likes for us. If you like it, if you're not liking it, don't hit the like button. That's cool. I understand. <laughs> understand that completely. Uh, let's get to an AMA. Let's jump into the AMA questions. These were submitted in Discord. Slide those bottles over there for me. I'm going to have to get to this graphic over here if I can figure out how to do it. All right, so we're going to get to the AMA. And again, these were submitted through Discord. Um, and so these are your questions. We're going to answer them. And I'm going to drink a little more of this BEP right here. All right, all of them again. All right, see if this works. What was this? Uh, don't know. I think it was the old card. Right here, was it? Did it work? Look at that. Question number one from Defunct: Do you see the bourbon hype train dying it down? <laughs> it did go. It did go away really quickly. Sorry, I have to. I'll have to slow these down. And if so, when? Do you see the bourbon hype train going down? And if so, when? Yes, absolutely. I think we're already kind of on the downhill swing a little bit. Um, for the bourbon hype train, but it's going to take a while. Like, it's not going to completely dry up. I don't think it's going to go back to what it was before, but a lot of distilleries are putting out a lot more whiskey. It takes four, five, six, eight, ten years for some of that whiskey to actually see the market. So we're going to get less hype than maybe the peak of, you know, all of the hype during the pandemic or maybe right after the pandemic. And then they're going to put a lot more whiskey out there, which is going to kind of you know, satisfy the masses a little more. So I, I think two or three years from now, you'll at least see the market normalize. There'll still be people excited about it, but not quite as, as what it was, and there's a lot more whiskey to go around. S. Meyer with the four ninety nine Super Chat. Bruzel, where can I find any old fits of any variety? That is a magical question. <laughs> I don't have... If I could find them, man, I would buy every one of them. So, Sorry. Um, you can find them online, but they're ridiculously priced. John, with the $50 Super Chat, Lord have mercy, John. Thank you, John. Thank you for the generosity there. Use this towards a Pappy, Pappy 23. 23, and he jumped right on up into the front of the of leaderboard. Course. Yes. Of course. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. 
Uh, Josh Gray with the $2 Super Chat. Have you tried Irons Iron 1, 1 distilled in Huntsville? I have not. Um, I don't think. We were just. I think I saw Huntsville. that somewhere, but I didn't. I, I don't. It's been a while, but I, I saw one of those a while back, but I didn't know what it was, so I passed on. All right, let's try the next. See if this works. Next question. Boom! Hit it up. David T. How was the Derby? Uh, the Derby is not my scene, man. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. I had a good time. I met some people. I talked a lot of trash. Saw a fist fight. It was it was it was entertaining, but it is you want to you want food? It's an hour wait. You want a drink? It's a forty five minute wait. It's seventeen dollars for a mint julep. It's twenty dollars for a taco or two. You know it's it's super expensive. There's a lot of state like you take a chair if you go here. Pro tip: take a chair with you. They'll let you in with a folding chair in the infield. Take one. If you go to buy drinks, buy a bunch of drinks, right, and take them over there and try to keep them in the shade so you don't have to go back. And get food and drinks early, because if you wait till late, um, but it it's just like after a while, it's like I don't want to go bet because I don't want to stand in line for another forty five minutes to bet. So bet all your horses up front, and then just sit around, drink, have a good time. Um, but not my thing. I'd much that's the type of thing I'd much rather just watch at home. And now, if I had like some high dollar tickets, if I can get you know if I can get, we keep getting that clout raised a little bit, right? We get that clout on up there, and the Derby's like, hey man, we'll give you. You know, somebody got a somebody got a suite over here. <laughs> I would go back, but the infield, I don't know, man. That's a that's a tough sled. HVACR Texas with the five proof membership. Appreciate the support there. Um, here from Brazil, your channel is rock. I agree. Thank you, Fabian. All right, this is the BEP I was trying to try. I know, Kyle, right? The Derby from Pretty Woman seemed awesome. Well, that, we weren't at the Derby. They weren't at the Derby? No, they walked, they, they were at a polo match. Oh, well, that oh, seemed like mercy. the Derby. Yeah, yeah, Kyle got it. Sorry, that was polo. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> they were at a polo match. And Same thing. Richard Gere was rich. He would, have, and... he, would have, he would have good seats. Okay, you're not right. Not in the infield, right? You're right, you're right. You're so, right. like, we went to Thurby, which is like the Derby, but Thursday. <laughs> um, but there was no security whatsoever. The infield was closed, so you just walk in and sit wherever you wanted. That was a little more fun, right? Head shade, good seat, um, no lines for any. Well, smaller lines for everything. Took 15 minutes to get a drink instead of an hour. Um, but that was more fun. So if you had good seats for the Derby, probably fine. Austin with the $5 Super Chat was at Costco, and they had a Kentucky Owl Takumi Japanese whiskey collaboration. Thought it was interesting. I've heard of it. I have not heard good things about it. Ah, uh, Josh, I'm in Alabama. I have not tried the Blanton's Black Label. Mm. Um, the BEP did get a little better. Does it? It did get a little better. That like that that bitterness kind of softened some on the back of the palate, and of course, of course, it could just be my palate getting better after all this high proof. David's in Opelika. Well, just a, we got a hometown crew going here, Jill. <laughs> Kyle's from right up the road in Roanoke area. Calumet 16 was my retirement bottle, Charles, Charles says. That's a good bottle. I like the Calumet 15, 16. I forget where they're at back here, but the ones I have in the Sam Houston, I think it was. It was like 14, 15, 16 between Sam Houston and the Calumets. Good stuff. Uh, do you think Peerless is worth the money? Uh, it depends on which one you're getting. Like the normal Peerless, that stuff I've seen all over the place price-wise. Like it, I literally will see a Peerless small batch from like $50 to $120 at stores. And if you get it down on that lower end, it's freaking fantastic. Dogs from Little Rock. What else did we have here? I don't know if anything else really we need to. Oh, you want to? What about a triple sack barrel, Jill? Damn. I'm good tonight. You you can try that one if you want. Okay, we got. Let's get to the next question. I don't think I switched the question here. Yep. Next question. What do you? Oh, it goes fast. I know. I gotta speed. I gotta slow it down here. There we go. Hunter Jaegers. What do you think is the next big bourbon brand to hit the markets? <sighs> And what do you think is the next trend in bourbon like Angel's Envy for Port Finish? Um, 
I don't know, like I, I'm not a predictor of futures, but I, what I'm enjoying the most it, are these like farm to glass type of places, right? Mm -hmm. Places that grow their own grains, you know, really are crafting their bourbon from scratch. It's so easy to just go buy some whiskey and put it out, right? And somebody who's sitting down and making it by hand is special. Like that's hard to do. It is so hard to grow all of your own stuff and then try to age it and sit on it for three or four years and get it out the door. So I, I think somebody like that, and if I had to pick somebody like that, our, our favorite is Frey Ranch. And we talk about them on all every the one of these streams <laughs> because their whiskey hits as good as just about anything on the market out there from the big distillers. Um, so probably something like a Frey Ranch in that kind of farm to table because it's got a great story with it. Mm -hmm. And if you know people pick up on that story, story yeah. they're going to give it a try, and I think they're going to take off. And then, then remember in the video from Mississippi, the, that guy was telling you about the mother and daughter that does it somewhere? Yes, that was somewhere in Virginia. Virginia? Somebody was yeah. supposed to be sending me a bottle of that. I haven't seen it okay. yet. Need to follow up that on that That would be one. interesting to try. Yeah, for sure. Jason with the four ninety nine super chat. Love the channel. Wondering if you've heard anything about Smoke Wagon Rare and Limited Winter Oak. Lucked my way into a bottle. Nervous due to cost. I, I haven't heard anything about it. I don't buy a ton of Smoke Wagon. I see a lot of them. I have some Smoke Wagon. It's mostly MGP stuff. It's good MGP stuff, but I'm not out there buying all of their limited release stuff. Honestly, I don't ever go through all the bottles that I see to even see if there's limited stuff. Nick Foles says the Bruzel vlogs are unbeatable. Well, uh, Nick, uh, you know, I hate that it didn't work out with the Eagles. And I don't know. I think you recently got fired from another team in the NFL. So now he's here hanging out in our life. I'm assuming it's not the same Nick Foles. Um, but appreciate it, man. We I, we enjoy doing them. I'm glad y'all are liking those. JL with the 999 Super Chat and immediately deleted the message. <laughs> don't want you to see it. Thank you for the Super Chat. Appreciate it, though, yeah. Come back to Columbus, Ohio, and try. We've got some watershed here, Dragon. We bought some. We did watershed on the last stream. Three think Frey Ranch will ever be available in Kentucky. They're expanding their distribution. It's all over the state of Georgia right now. Literally every liquor store I went into in Georgia had it. So yes, I would think yeah. so. I would think they would keep um, keep you know putting out more and more whiskey. But they're small, right? So they got to have the barrels to do because they're you know. I'm assuming first couple of years they made it, they didn't put out, they didn't make that many barrels, right? So it takes a little while before they can actually increase the distribution um, as barrels start to age a little more. Was it Silverbacks? That's what it was. Yes, it was. Yes. yes Somebody it's mentioned from it. Virginia, yes. Virginia. Silverbacks. They're going to the Whiskey distillery Preppers this going to the distillery this weekend. Somebody's supposed to be sending me a bottle. I haven't seen it. So sometimes they take a while to get here, though. Is the first drink of a bottle the best, or is it better after you open it a few times? I don't. I'm not a firm believer in the neck pour, and you know, I do believe after it gets oxygen on it, it tends to mellow a little bit, get a little more oxidized. Um, whether the neck pour is better or the rest of it's better, I think it just depends on what you've eaten. Now, once it gets super low and gets a lot of oxygen in it, the the flavors tend to mute down a little bit and dull. So, I like it better when it's half full or more. Corey's in the house from New Jersey, New Jersey. pending upgrades to the drink in Lincoln. <laughs> uh, we, we're upgrading the audio right now. I've got to add front springs to it. we got to have a vinyl top put on her. I've got some work to do on the door panels, but that's it. She's done. Uh, the Starlight. This is the triple sec finished um, bourbon whiskey finished in triple sec barrels, which, again, I didn't think triple sec came in barrels. I've only seen triple second plastic bottles. <laughs> yeah. Because we buy the cheap crap. Going to do anything with Ben Holiday. They're on the list. They're on the list. We got a lot of things going right now. We're talking to Short Barrel over there, Old Fourth. We're talking to 13th Colonies. We're talking to three or four different places in New York over the next couple of weeks. Um, I, we're talking to a lot of places. I'm trying to keep all that organized and not add too many into the mix until I've had some of those conversations. And then, um, but Ben Holiday is very high on the list of folks I would like to talk to, but we have not reached out to them just yet. Yeah, Dalton, after this stream, for those that are here, we will jump in the Discord. I will jump in the Discord. She will not. Um, and we will have a live audio chat over in the Discord after this stream is over with. So if you're into that, if you want to hang out, if you want to be on a live chat where everybody can speak, not just me talking to a camera, be sure to join us for that. Let's check this next 
Q&A here. Ask me anything. What was it? Killer 55, have you ever hunted outside of the U.S.? We were talking about that just earlier. Um, we have not. Like, the only time I've ever been, I mean, we went to Mexico on a cruise. That doesn't really count. Um, we, we did Will go to the Netherlands. In... Will went to Thailand and barely hunted, but yeah. there was no bourbon to be found over there. We weren't that into bourbon when we went to the Netherlands. We were not into bourbon enough to try to look for it. That's for sure. I bet that would have been fun, though. We're going to have to go back now. That would have been interesting. I don't know. Does I would assume the Netherlands has a big... Well, somebody sent me the Blanton's Gold because I was on a live stream with someone from the Netherlands and we were talking about Blanton's Gold and how I couldn't uh, get it. And, that's where you and got they that just from. sent okay. me a bottle. Well, They're like, yeah, I just went down to the liquor store. Here it was. Well, there so, you go. We should try that. I need to get that going. The Hemingway Rye. I've not tried Hemingway Rye. Discord link, almighty, should be dropped here uh, on the regular. I just saw Streamlabs drop it a minute ago. It looked, actually, that was not the Discord link that Streamlabs dropped. Somebody dropped the Discord link. If we've got any mods that have it here. Um, all right, so I'm going to try this one. Where are we at on time? I can't. All my screens it's are gone. It's 9.22. Oh, man, we're doing great on time. Let's hit this next question here. What do we got? Next question. Lamb sauce, when did you first start enjoying bourbon? That kind of fits in with your story there as well, Jill. Mm -hmm. Um not that long ago, really. I mean, I've been kind of into whiskey probably since I was about 30 years old, but we were drinking Jack and Cokes. Like, that's what got me into whiskey, right? We were yeah. just, I just kind of dug Jack and Cokes, and that's what I was drinking on the weekends and football season and that kind of thing. And then we started doing some content for work about five or six years ago, and um, I was doing beer at first, and I was like, eh, I kind of want to step it up to some whiskey. So I started buying whiskey for the live stream, just because I thought it would be more fun. Um, I No, you're not. I'm going to get it. I was no, I'm talking to help you. <laughs> wow. I really, really, really like turtles. Oh Give a hundred dollar super chat. Lord have mercy. So generous. That is I appreciate so generous. It. Thank I got you. A pappy, I got a Pappy 10 bottled in 2001 and an Angel's Envy Cash Drink 22. Wow. What one to open for my birthday? Also use this for a blank. Black. black. Wow. They actually had some. I think they had some black at one of the liquor stores I went to in uh, Kentucky. Did they? Like a Japanese only release, but I didn't buy it. Oh. Um, whew, which one? Mm. So the Pappy bottled in two thousand one is worth a lot of money. That's a. I think it's probably Stitzel Weller juice. That old. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It might not be, but I think it is. Um, and then the Angels Envy. So the Pappy Ten is going to be better. But you're also not going to kill your investment portfolio if you just drink that Angel's Envy cash drink. But if you just gave me 100 I assume you don't really care that much about the investment portfolio <laughs> of the Pappies. So that's the one I would I open. I would do the Pappies, Because yeah. I'm going to love that one, and I'm going to be eh about that Angel's Envy. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. So what's a Blanton's Black? You just said it's uh, Japanese. It's one of the Japanese. Jap they, they have a so couple of different ones. So they release them only in Yeah, Japan? so I, I don't know. The, I think the Blanton's Black is older. So it's Blanton's, but it's been aged a little longer at the mm -hmm. same proof. And then they have the Blanton's Red, um, and it is lower proof. So I think it's like 90 proof instead of 90, was it 4 proof on huh, Blanton's? Interesting. Um, something like that. But you saw one in Kentucky. Yeah, they had a couple of boxes of both the red and the black in a liquor store. Are they expensive? Um, I didn't ask the price ah, because gotcha. everything else there was expensive. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was expensive. When's the VIP tickets coming out, Jill? Um, so soon. We're, we're, we're planning working on that. We're still trying to, I was gone all last week, yeah. so we're still trying to determine if we're going to provide any transportation, a room block, any of that stuff. If we don't do that stuff, we probably get tickets out here pretty soon, maybe right. later this week, maybe early next week. Um, that's the last thing to decide. I think we're pretty solid on everything else. I haven't tried the Jesse James stuff, no. Um, what were we? We were a answering a question there when I got so rudely interrupted by a $100 Super Jet. <laughs> uh, the first time to enjoy bourbon. Your... So five or six years ago, we were doing some work stuff um, and streaming and, and just talking about bourbon and you know pairing a bourbon with a topic. And I started trying a bunch of different bourbons, and that's when I stumbled upon Weller Antique 107 and was like, oh, yeah, this is solid. And then I just went, I went just nose deep at that point. Went in. Douglas made it. Hmm. 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 But, yeah, we'll get, 
we'll get all the info for the VIP and the the meetup. As we're trying to solidify. We're yeah. trying to solidify everything this week. Yeah. So I would love to announce it next Monday. Yeah. That's what I would. I would love I'll, to like formally okay. announce. I it. won't be here next Monday, but you can still announce it. You don't think I should talk about it without? No, you, you can look. You can talk about it. Where are you going to be? You know I'm going to be gone. Sorry, I'm going to be gone. Hmm. I could uh, FaceTime in. <laughs> I could FaceTime in. That's interesting. It's different. It's not what I expected it to be. I'm not sure I care much for it, but it's interesting. It's not bad. I thought it'd be bad. I thought this would be oh. Actually, that could be really good. That could be, like it's, I think if you let that open up a little bit, it'd be fantastic. Dalton said, when is the event? Our what, plan, August 18th is 18th what we're thinking? 18th is VIP event, 19th is the main awesome. event. It's what we are planning. Mark says we got 731. David says over 700 people. Great. And thank y'all for letting me know because I can't see the yeah, stats. Yeah, we can't see anything. We completely broke our whole setup trying to, but the, the rig worked except for a little internet hiccup issue we had earlier. So the Blackberry finish, this one actually added a nice little sweetness to it. It's got, it drinks higher than 109 proof to me tonight for some reason or another, but pretty good. Any trips? So like we just, we just went to Atlanta and filmed a bourbon hunting trip there. I just filmed in Nashville. I just filmed in Louisville. Um, we just did the Derby. We've got the Talladega 500 coming up. That video is coming up. So all of those are shot. I'm probably going to do Columbus, Georgia here pretty soon. Um, I've got to go down to Orlando. So sometime probably early next month, I'll film down in Orlando area. Um, this month, babe? No, the second trip is where I have a day to go oh, yeah, hunting, okay. though. Uh, Wing Wong. I don't even think it's glorified, man. But thank you. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> thank you. Mm. But if you feel that way, why are you wasting your time here, man? You're a glorified time waster. <laughs> here you go. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. What works? I don't give a damn. Oh, I don't really care about you and your problems. Yeah, I don't think, give a damn. You talk too much. Too much. Oh. I have you heard enough. Wing Wong in here. <laughs> 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 Truman Reserve and liked it. Awesome, Jake. Appreciate it. <laughs> Nate got him out of here. <laughs> William Powell with the $2 Super Chat. Thoughts on the Wild Turkey Masters Keep behind me. Oh, Ooh, Which one's behind me? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this one right here. 17-year uh, bottle and bond. That one back there is the decades. When I first bought it, I absolutely loved this bottle. Smell of that bottle. Mm. It's still delicious. It does have a little bit of kind of a bitter oakiness to it, but it's still really, really good. I just really, truly appreciate... The turkey emblazoned on that I bottle? I just Because, you know, you could just put it in a bottle and put it out there and people still drink it. But I appreciate pretty things. And I just think taking the time to make this design in this bottle, like that's, that's good. I, I agree. Like that. I appreciate pretty I things too, Jim. That's why you're on the stream. I don't know what this is called. If it's called embossed. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what this it's is. It's got an embossed turkey. She likes turkeys, okay? But it's pretty. And I appreciate the effort that wild turkey put into this bottle. It's a good bottle of whiskey, Thank though. You. This is actually really good. I appreciate good. the bottle. What did you do before YouTube? I'm still doing it, man. I'm in e-commerce. We build websites that sell things. That's pretty much... Um, so if anybody here needs a website, if you're in control of a website, <laughs> you otherwise are gainfully employed with something that has a website, and y'all are looking to take that to the next level... This is your man. Hit me up. Happy to talk about it. <laughs> yes, a gorgeous bottle. Like, you know... It's so pretty. Really Oftentimes, is. a really nice bottle is just there to sell you a really bad whiskey, but there, yeah. there not, are exceptions to that, right? Like, this is a great bottle and a great whiskey. Brandon, how did I catch your attention? I'm not sure, Brandon. I'm not sure. This pretty face. 
Hmm. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. That's how you caught my attention. Ooh, look at that. You know how you caught my attention? Them jeans you were wearing. <laughs> what? Stop it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brandon has family used to raise turkeys. I saw a turkey the other day. Almost ran over it. <laughs> Dalton, Dalton. four ninety nine super chat. Oh, it's anniversary weekend. <sighs> Dalton, our anniversary is the next week. That's why we had like, well, ours is actually in between the ne- the two weekends. I'm about to say the next weekend, I may be a bourbon junkies thing. No, you're a bourbon junkies the weekend before. Okay, gotcha. Yes, ours is the twenty second. But happy anniversary! How many years? This is a family show. People in families yes. wear jeans? <laughs> yes. I still wear jeans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 25 years later, I still wear she jeans. Come, she come rolling into Spanish class in a Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt and them, them stonewashed jeans. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, who's that walking away from me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why does she sit by Caleb Holt? No clue. Oh, my gosh. You're so crazy. Paul, no, You're of so course crazy. not, man. That's why I can't stand up, dude. Hey, yes, what? I'm wearing pants. Oh. No. Yes, he is. Why would I wear pants. Why? I don't, I can't open. I just, I'm struggling here. I've got it. I've got, this is, Damon's on his 19 year, Jill. Oh, 19. Congratulations and happy anniversary. Exactly, Lowell. Exactly. Yes. Why would you build a bar at home if you're going to have to wear pants to it? <laughs> because. It makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, Mark. It might be warm. You're correct. It will be warm in August in Opelika. It's going to be warm. We're not hiding that fact. No, it's going to be warm. It's going to be warm. We'll try to find some shade. We'll put up some tents and some stuff, and there'll be fans maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that all out, but it's definitely going to be warm. Matt from ADHD Whiskey's rolling through. What's Aww. going on, Matt? Hey, Matt. Just trying this Penelope Toasted. Oof. Chrissy, 24 years for us on May 18th. Aw, congratulations. I'm actually, yeah, this is all oh, green screen. is the 21st of August, and it's their second. Ours is the 22nd of August, and that's our 25th, and he ain't taking me nowhere. Well, because you spent all my money on Taylor Swift. <laughs> all that money I had saved, gone oh, to Taylor yeah, Swift, right. all of it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Penelope won't go up in price. Somebody asked about uh, the MGP buying Penelope. I think it's great for Penelope. Um, I wished I had started a distillery and grew it, or a, a bottler and grew it, and somebody <laughs> bought it for a hundred million dollars. Because I mean, I love y'all, and I would still create videos, but we'd do like one a month, and it'd be epic. We would do one really big video every month. Like, what's the? We got thirty days. What's the biggest dumbest thing we can do? Let's do that. Let's do that. And that would be it. What happened with the van, Mark says. Well, we're on a... We did go look at the van. We did go look at the van. It's still for sale. And it's pretty. It's still for sale. And I kind of liked it. Still for sale. But... Still for sale. No, it's not the right one for us. I mean, but I I might can negotiate now. It's still for sale. It's still not the right one for us. Okay. You know, we would... It's not the right one. No, it's not the right one. Yeah, I don't... But it's a a cool van if anybody wants that type of van. It's really cool. Not a fan of the toasted. You're not? No. Mm. Taylor, favorite Taylor Swift song, Jim. Oh, my goodness. Favorite Taylor Swift song. Yeah. That's like asking what your favorite bourbon is. It's very, very difficult. It's William Larue Weller. Was yeah. it that hard? It was that quick, Jill? No. Did it just like that, Jill? Taylor Swift's favorite song. Okay. Yes. I, well, my favorite Taylor Swift song is, "It's You're the Problem, It's You. <laughs> What? I'm the problem? That's the song. I didn't make it up. I didn't write the song, Jill. No. I Yeah, I do love Love Story. I love, oh my gosh, so many of them. What's my favorite one? You keep talking. Well, what do you think of Brian with the 999 Super Chat? Thank you for the awesome bourbon videos, brother. If it wasn't for your videos, I probably wouldn't have gotten into this bourbon journey. Cheers from Oregon, and I apologize for sending you down this path 
of which there is no conclusion. CBC Fire with the Five Proof Membership. Welcome. Appreciate the support. Old school Taylor oh, Swift song. Tim right? McGraw. Yeah. Uh, come on, Tim McGraw. Like, really? I was hoping. She does two surprise songs at all of her concerts. And I was so hoping we would get Tim McGraw, but she had already performed it, so we knew we weren't. But I really wanted that one. Mr. Richie says, my Tupelo honey hole is no more since I came through. Call me Hurricane Bruzel. I'm blowing up honey holes everywhere I go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, sorry about that. I don't like which one was your honey hole. And, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. Hey, sorry. Yeah. I didn't really mean to mess you up, but I'm also not that upset about it. I mean, if we brought a store a little more... You know, just a little more uh, traffic, a little more business. That's good for them, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many bottles did you just open? Let's just see. We tried, um, what do we got open over there? We old tried Carter. Old Carter. Yes. And the Jack Daniels. And the Jack Daniels. And the Mictors 10. And that, that was BEP. Oh, and the Jack um, other thing. The Rigers. The Carl T. Hubers, um, the Penelope the Toasted, Forster, but we'll put that one back for later. And time. then we're about to try this wild turkey. So, and by we he means he. Never say honey hole in West Alabama. Okay. They mean it means something completely okay. different. We don't want to know. <laughs> oh. Rumor is Taylor Swift is dating Fernando Alonso. There's a lot of rumors about Taylor Swift. She didn't mention him last time she called. She didn't. Mm -mm. Yeah. And the Hudson. Yes, James, the Hudson. There you go. Got me. Anyone know how much an empty bottle of Eagle Rare 101 proof is with the original wooden box? I mean, I'm, it has some value for sure. I wouldn't know what it is, though. What was the best one so far? Um, out of all of these, it would have to be between the Mictors 10, the Old Carter, and the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Those were the top three. Um, I would have to blind them to tell you, though, honestly, because both, all three of those are exceptional whiskeys. How much should you pay for a Weller foolproof? I don't know, fifty, sixty dollars. But uh, realistically, a couple hundred bucks, I buy them. I know. You, do you ever see them a couple hundred bucks? No, you don't. So that's why it's hard for me to get them. Best drink tonight. Yeah, again, I it, it was between the Mictors, the Old Carter, and the Jack Daniels. Those three really yeah, stood out as exceptional really out of the ones we opened, for sure. And I think that Rigers is going to be good. I think my palate's just burned. <laughs> Dalton with the four ninety nine super chat. A couple of weeks after you went through win Arkansas, sadly, I know, I, I know that like the yeah. day that video came out, it's horrible. They got hit, I, and I hope they're doing okay up there. I actually had talked to, you know, we talked to that guy at the one store that didn't have the money to do a barrel pick. Yeah. And somebody had reached out from an Arkansas bourbon club or a bourbon group on Facebook, and I was like, how, how big is your group? Like, how active is your group? Because I was like, can we get the group together and we'll do a barrel pick through his store where it's basically guaranteed sold, oh. and then he could use that revenue to start his sure. barrel pick program. And they didn't seem to think they could sell a barrel through that group. And I'm not uh, I'm not local, so just the logistics of making that work. But I'd love to hook up with that guy and help him get his barrel pick. You know, we'll just we'll buy it for him if we have to on the first one, just re you know, recoup our cost. Uh oh, Mary Jessica broke out the blends tonight. They bringing out the good stuff. Matt said Hurricane Bruzel just made landfall and it's driving <laughs> a Lincoln. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You driving it right now. Josh, I'm trying to find a Jack Daniels 12 year too. I, they might be in the quarterly lottery here in Alabama. I don't know. Somebody said earlier that the drop for next for May is the same as before. Well, they haven't updated the website yet. I think you said they did. They uh, did update the maybe. website. I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe I don't know. It's pr that's roughly what they're doing. But it, I checked it. It was supposed to be available today. The next drop. Um, but it still said like March on it. So it didn't even because the quarterly lottery was in April. Bruiser Will, yeah, that Jack 133 proof. He tried that. Did he? Oh, while we were there, goodness. that's a fantastic bottle. It is so good. Like, yeah, Topeka broke out the 1792 good. Sweet Wheat. That's a really good bottle. That is a. That's um. Y'all don't sleep on these little Jack mm -hmm. Daniels. Any Jack Daniels single barrel barrel strengths. Those are fantastic. 
Even if you don't like normal Jack Daniels, you should give yeah, one of those a try. Yeah, this is really good. Mark says it updated this afternoon. Good to hear. See? I'll have to check it out. JD12, everywhere in Tampa, St. Pete. Well, just buy me a case of it, Brian. Let's work something out. <laughs> What'd you do with the Weller Special Reserve you got in the lottery? Um, it's it's back there in the closet. Some, I just bought like three or four bottles of it on the trip through Arkansas. So I, I, I'm flush with Weller Special Reserve. Although we did drink a bunch of it on my vacation. 240? Yeah, if it's 240, that's why it's everywhere because it's $240. <laughs> Blue Note Uncut Unfiltered. Nice. Uh, did I like the Kings from Brooklyn? I liked it. I didn't love it. I liked it. Didn't love it. Red Breast 12 Cash Strength. Favorite Irish is probably the Red Breast 12 PX Sherry Finish. Yeah. Yeah. We should go to Ireland. I say 12. It's the Red Breast PX. I, I forget if it's 12. Chase with the four ninety nine Super Chat. The Jack Daniels Barrel Proof is fantastic. I, like, people hate on Jack Daniels. So good. That's such a good bottle. Jonathan Porter said that I wish you spent less money on bourbon and more money on diamonds for me. She doesn't even I'm like diamonds. I'm not a diamond girl, no. I, mm -mm. Like, I, you buy her like diamond earrings, she'd never wear them. I'm you not. buy her a ring this big around, it, it no. looked like one of those ring pops, but it had a real diamond, she wouldn't wear it. Nope. Right? Wouldn't do it. Yeah, I'm a simple girl on those kinds Jill doesn't want diamonds. What, what Jill do wants I want? beach trips and Mickey Mouse ears. See, my baby knows me. I want all kinds of trips. The way to my heart is a trip. Mm. Yeah, first class everywhere. <laughs> Thought about trying more rum. We will be doing that at some point. Like oh, right now, rum. Will controls the mixed drink channel, and I don't think he's really on a rum kick, so I'm doing a lot more like college drinking type stuff. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get around to rum here pretty I do. soon. I love rum. We should try some more rums. I like rum. All right. All C Fragrance, new subscriber, love the shorts. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bigger 7 is fantastic. Like, that's probably my favorite Jim Beam product. Everybody geeks out over Booker's and Little Book stuff, and I'm just like, Baker 7, man, that's where it's at. I like the old bottle. The single barrels are good, but I, I don't know. I'm just on kind of that old bottle kick where they were a small batch. Really, really good. A uh, big fan of the Detling. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, I know. I see I wanna I wanna love Detling. I do. I wanna support those guys. They use it's a high malt bourbon, and I'm just not a high malt bourbon guy. If you like malt, it's a good whiskey. Buy it. I think everybody would love it if you're into malt. Um, but I just don't like the amount of maltiness they have in it. Trip trip to Port St. Joe? Ooh. Yeah. Jill can take a trip anywhere. Really? Yeah. As long as Pretty it's much safe. anywhere. As, yeah. long as, it's as long as she feels somewhat safe. safe. It doesn't have to be safe or unsafe. Jill has to feel safe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, she wouldn't go to Atlanta right now after our last trip there. No. <laughs> Not for a very long time. Yeah. Rock I called them today. What'd they say? You know, because he hasn't called me yet about yeah. what happened. And he didn't call me again today. Well, for so. those that don't know, we, we, we were in Atlanta at a Taylor Swift concert and we come in about midnight. And there was a gentleman using uh, spray paint as a blowtorch, and he had bolt cutters, and he was trying to break into the room opposite hours in the hallway. So, yeah. fun fun times. Yes. After we told, we were told he was contained. He was not contained. Okay. He was far from. He, he was, was far yes, from contained. He was contained in the hallway outside our room. Yeah. That was fun. Fun stuff. Yeah, I see the new the new Baker Seven quite a bit. I just haven't bought them because I've got I when I found out they changed them, I just went in and bought three or four of the old Baker Sevens. So I just haven't had it. Um, I think I've got Chapter Five, and I'm not saying I don't like Booker's and Little Book. I do like them, but don't sleep on the Bakers because that's a good stuff. So I, I'm not I'm not saying you know Little Book. I think mine may be Chapter Five too. Um, I don't I'm not saying they're not good whiskey. I'm just saying the Baker stuff, 107 proof, like that's where I like it. Yes, we did, Brandon. We did see, we were talking about it earlier, the MGP bought Penelope Bourbon. Yep. Um, congratulations. Apparently, they sell, what they say, 300,000 bottles a year? Is that what somebody said? Mm, somebody so, said all that. I need to do, all I need to do is sell 300,000 bottles of whiskey a year, and I could get $100 million, 100 bucks. There you go. Times a million. Pay some taxes. <laughs> sit on about 60, 70 million dollars. And then we would just be able to do all the stupid things we could come up with. And then by the time I'm dead, it'll all be gone. 
And that would be wonderful. AJ Pearson said two Swifties right here. My kind of people. Mm -hmm. Swifties. Swifties are awesome. I didn't get invited to the Taylor Swift concert. I just got invited to drive. He did. Yes. No, extra. We they had an extra ticket. They're like, we got an no, extra ticket we to did each not. one. No. Really? No. They, they were already. Coley's friend? Yeah, but that was already a thing. No, no. It was an extra ticket. No. That was an extra ticket. Coley's friend came. Got an extra ticket. One of our daughter's friends came. Well, you were at the Kentucky Derby. Thank you. But I didn't even get invited. So I was you, free. You're I not was a open Swiftie for the baby. I'm just saying. I got invited to drive. You I did. swiftly got your butt in and out of traffic. You swiftly did mm -hmm. that. You abs You rocked that. That's right, Mark. Lucky me. You rocked that. What's the bottle you really want but haven't been able to find? I think probably high on my list of bottles I really want, but I haven't found an Old Fitz 13 decanter series. Probably my favorite out of the Old Fitz series. Never own one. Uh, Jack 12, pretty high on the list. But honestly, I'm happy with all the bottles I buy. Like, I'm buying so much... The, the channel is doing well enough. Y'all like the bourbon hunting videos. So the amount of bourbon I am buying is through the freaking roof. Like, I have bought more bourbon in the last month than, mm. like, the last year. Um, so it's uh, I'm getting a lot of good bourbon. I, I'm not upset. Like, I'm not out looking for anything necessarily in particular. But if I find something super rare, like, that's even better because I want to have it here to share with folks. Think, but I'm not out yeah, there looking for Yeah, I think, like them. you said, like, People who are doing really cool stuff, like the farm to table. I oh, yeah. really, really want to find. We should do a series on just finding all those. That's what, I mean, I just kind of what we're doing with the bourbon hunt. Like, I do, you could go research and then we could go try to find a bottle. If you want to make a list, Yeah, I might you can research it and then we could try to find a bottle. But, like, I'm just, anything that says bottled and bond and I've never heard of the label, I buy. Yeah, but that bottled and bond doesn't necessarily mean farm it to table. It doesn't, but it means... Good whiskey, and if it's a label I don't recognize, right. I assume it's a smaller distillery. It's not always, but I assume it is. Okay. Jacob T. Smith with the dollar ninety nine super chat. I think Canadian Club Twelve Year should be next. Hmm. What is Canadian Club? It's it's Canadian Club. Is that a bourbon or a whiskey? Hold on just a second. Keep them entertained, Jill. Keep, Keep them, them entertained, entertained, Jill. Um. I'm trying to. Dance, Jill, dance. I'm not dancing. I danced for two weekends in a row, and I stood up for three hours for two weekends in a row. I'm not gonna dance for the people. The people don't want to see that. We we are entertained. Jill. See, just get the ladder, Jill. No, Jill. Jill doesn't need to be climbing on any ladders. Dang, I thought I had some Canadian Club, but it wasn't. It was Seagram's. Uh, this is a Seagram's VO, unopened. Seagram's VO Canadian whiskey, a blend of Canadi Canadias. Canadians. Canada's finest whiskeys. Canadians. And this is from like 1979. It says 1979 on the tax strip. Completely unopened right there. Um, not opening that tonight, but... <laughs> Shake it off. Big J Rock with the two dollar super chat. Keep them entertained, Jill. Come on. I am. They are all entertained. Are Every, you not entertained? Everybody said they were entertained. What's your favorite bottle, Chrissy asks. Ooh, my favorite bottle. Okay, so obviously William Larue Weller yes. is one of my absolute. You're favorite. just copying me. No, and then I would go to the Coy Hill, also one of my just favorite, favorite, favorites. Um, Frey Ranch. Also, one of my favorites that Thomas decided to leave somewhere. Like, I didn't even know he it took up. it in the I'll first place. Up. I'm just trying to spread the word, G. I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know, uh, spread the good word. I'm trying to take the gospel of Frey Ranch to the people, Jill. Yes, I understand. But then I don't have any Frey Ranch here. Do we have any? Left? No, we've got Frey Ranch. we got the rye and the, sing or the small that batch. That empty of it. Yeah, i got a backup of that. It might be in the back. Okay. But we got a whole bottle of that. We just, the store pick cash strength got left in Kentucky. But I'm back in a month. If you hadn't drank it, I'll pick it up. <laughs> oh, please don't drink it. No, I'm just kidding. You can drink From it. From best to worst. We'll get more. We'll Jill, find it. Best to worst. What's the Weller? Yeah, have you even tried all the Weller? No, I don't think I have. Well, maybe. I don't know, okay. but not like together. We should do like a blind of me trying all the Wellers. Let's do that. Not tonight, but like. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And That'll not next fun. week because I won't be here. Someday. And then the let's next week. Let's do it. Week. 150 years from now, let's just do that. <laughs> and then the next week, we're both Well, going. you better write it down because you know nobody. That? No? 
Okay, so we're both going. I don't away. think 14 days in advance. That's nuts. We've Who got that? too much going on. I have to put it in a calendar because I don't know when I'm going to be home here lately. Me either. So, you know. But if I think about how much I'm not at home, it just stresses me out. So I yeah. just kind of try to enjoy what and I'm And I love to travel, but we're doing a little too much of it. And you know if I say that, it's a real, real thing. Yes. It's a real thing if I say we're doing too much. It's but, a serious thing. You know, you got two two different jobs now, <laughs> so we're doing way more traveling. Yes. Like, no. I don't even think we're going to be home hardly any in May or June at this point. Not much. Yeah. Fun. So, I, we may miss some streams. I apologize. But the Weller light up, first and foremost for me, is 107. It's going to be controversial. I know. I don't care. Anybody who doesn't agree with me is either wrong or they have a completely different valid opinion. Y'all just get to decide which one that is. Right behind it, like neck and neck, neck and neck, is the 114 foolproof. A decent sized gap, and I think it's the single barrel, or the, no, CYPB. It's the, yeah, single barrel is the, whichever one's higher proof. Try to remember. Try to remember the proofs on these guys. Um, single barrel is 97 proof, <laughs> and CYPB is 95 proof. So the single barrel was slightly better than CYPB, and then a big gap. A big gap. And then neck and neck at the bottom is Special Reserve and Weller 12. Mm. Controversial, I know, Controversial. but Anthony James said 1979 is the year his mom was born. Mm. Do you want to know what that means? It means you're old enough to be his mother. I'm old enough to be his mother. <laughs> okay. That happens to a lot of people. Yep. Apparently, I look like a bunch of different people. Apparently, just, you look like Lisa Loeb and the and mother, the mother from, from Dire of Wimpy Kid. Kid and, um, what's 1792 compared to? Um, let's see. 1792 is Barton, right? Um, I don't know. Don't know what it's compared to. Can't find a single bottle of any type of Weller here in Florida. What is it? What you laughing at now? Nick. Said and Taylor Swift. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, but <laughs> yeah, still looks like Taylor look Swift's like, mother. Uh, yes, exactly. I'm definitely. Well, I don't know if I'm old enough to be her mother, but yeah, no, not old enough to be her mother. Not quite. No, not quite. Not quite. Eagle Rare needs to be higher proof. I agree. Give it to me at 101. I would love it. Lisa Loeb. We need to look at Lisa. I, I gotta get, get some Lisa Loeb. Let's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Maybe. I don't know what she looks like now. I'm thinking of Lisa Loeb when I was, like, younger. But What'd she look like? Did you look like her back then? I don't know. I always got Claire Danes when we were younger. Uh, when, we were, yeah, when we were in high school, Jill looked just like Claire Danes when she was in um, uh, the um, Shakespeare, mm -hmm. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Okay, yeah, with the, with the glasses and the hair color. I see a little bit. I could see I a little see, bit yeah. of Lisa Loeb, yeah. A little bit of Lisa Loeb there. Not bad. Not a bad pick. A little bit of those vibes. There have been two live streams that have caught my attention. Well, good, Brandon. You said. Welcome. I only hear what I want to hear. That's her one hit. <laughs> is that her one hit? She's a one hit wonder. Yeah. All right, it is 9.55. No, we are more going hits. to call this a live stream. Hit the like button for me. We are going, I'm going to jump into Discord. Wow, somebody, that went by fast. somebody drop the Discord link in the chat. We are going to jump. I'm going to jump over there. Do an audio only chat for supporters for patrons. Okay, we got to um, we got to answer so if you're a patron member, question. What's Anthony's question? Are y'all high school sweethearts? Yes. 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 Met Jill in eleventh grade Spanish class when she walked in with <sighs> ten pounds of ass and then five pound jeans. What? Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Sorry, it's a family show. It is late. Kids should I be in bed care. by now. I gotta yes, we were high school sweethearts. <laughs> that was the answer to that okay. question. Yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, TJ said me gusta. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, yes. Yes, I got to get all the way up and go over there to shut this stream down. We'll see the patrons and supporters. If you joined a membership here tonight, jump in Discord, hit up Bruzel Will if he's still around, or hit me up if he doesn't. Make sure we get you into yeah, the, the supporter stream. chat, the two the two slap stream. Yeah, I smacked you twice. Oh, okay, hit me again, Jill. Hit me. Come on, hit me harder. You ain't done nothing bad yet. <sighs> don't don't take that as do something. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll Good see. night, everybody. See y'all later. <laughs>